so welcome back guys now i'm going to create a new project amplitude and i am going to name this application status updating application just click finish let the gradle build so guys in this project we are going to use two dependencies in order to use the functionality of firebase recycler view inside our application and firebase core functionality into our application so i'm going to use these dependencies into our application just copy these dependencies go to gradle build gradle and here i'm going to implement both the dependencies first i'm going to say implementation then this dependency after that i'm going to implement the second dependency which is as you know it is giving us a warning because the newer version of this dependency is available which is 16.0.8 so i'm going to change it to 8 i'm going to add another dependency which is for our recycler view so i'm going into design and then i'm going to click on this little icon and it will ask me to add the dependency okay and now the application started to sync the latest dependencies that we have added into our app module so our project is sync so i'm going into tools firebase and assistant will be open then click on firestore click read and write documents with cloud firestore then connect to app a new dialog will start the processing a new dialog will be open here from here create a new firebase project just click connect to firestore okay so our project has been connected to the firebase next thing is to add the firestore dependencies into your app just click on this option and accept changes so our dependencies set up correctly next step i am going back into our app cradle to check if everything is okay so it is saying that a new version of this dependency is available which is 18.2.0 so i am going to change this to 18.2. and going to click sync again so our project is ready for the next step in this step i am going to make changes into our layout file first of all i am going to change this to relative layout and next i am going to delete this dummy text view here i am going to add two added text one for the user name hint enter the user name and i would say max length would be 20 for the username and i'm going to give this an id okay now i'm going to add another text view and this would be for the status in the next step i'm going to add a maximum length of 100 characters and input type is text multi lines and now i'm going to give an id to this this is user status et and this would be below of user name et now i'm going to add a button that will be used to add the status and i'm going to say text would be add status I'm going to give ID to this button. ID would be add status btn. The next thing, this would be below of user status et. Okay. In the next step, I'm going to add a recycler view that will be used to display our latest statuses. Okay. So I'm going to use a recycler view for this purpose. Match pair on wrap content. Let me self close it. And I'm going to give this an ID recycler view and this would be below of our add status btn so we are done with the design of our application in the next step i am going to connect these xml views with the java views okay so i'm going back into our main activity here i'm going to create two added text one is user name et and other one is user status et and at the same time we are going to need the recycler view as well so i'm going to call this recycler view which is object recycler view next thing i'm going to have is a try catch block over here in case some exception occurs 
and now I'm going to connect these with the XML views or dot ID user name et next thing is user status et would equal to point group by id or dot id user status et and again object recycler view would be equal to find view by id or dot id or v okay so we have connected our xml views with the java view in the next step i'm going to create a method that actually will add our status inside our firestore so before that i'm going back into our firestore so this is the project that we have created just click on it then just click on choose data sharing settings accept these terms and click on finish after that just click on cloud firestore and then click on create database here choose the test mode and enable it it is setting up the security rules for our project it will take less than a minute okay in the next step i'm just going to create a collection in which we are going to add our statuses okay so i'm going to add a collection with the name of status if you don't know about the collections then please go and watch my other playlist in which i have explained what does it mean by collections okay and then click on next and add a dummy document with the name of i'm going to say dummy status and here i would be saying like field name status and value would be sample status and then click on save as you can see that our status has been added into our statuses collection okay so moving back into our project now i'm going to create a method first let me create some space over here so that you can see i'm going to say public wide add status and to make it clickable i'm going to pass a view object then again we have to call the try catch with the exception e and here I'm going to get that exception to use the Firestore inside your application you have to create the object of Firebase Firestore class and then create this object in the next step I'm going to initialize this object by using Firebase Firestore dot get instance okay now I'm going to add the status that I will get from these two added taxes okay so first of all i'm going to check if these error text are not null or not empty so i would be saying username et dot get text dot to string dot is empty and user status et dot get text dot to string dot is empty if these both are not empty then we will proceed else we will generate a message to for the user tag please intro values okay in the next step i'm going to add the value inside our fire store okay so i'm going to call the firebase then collection collection name is status as you can see from here and the next thing we are going to get the user from the user name et that would be document name document then username get text dot to string and then i'm going to add a value in the key value pairs okay so as you know that we are going to use the set method which takes a map object so first of all i'm going to create a map over here map of type string and the value for the key will also be of type string and here i'm going to create the object of that map will i'm going to initialize it with hash map okay and now i'm going to add value into this map and the key will be status and here i'm going to use the value for that status key which is user status et dot get text dot to string that's it and the next thing i'm going to do is to pass this 
object map over here and again add on success listener new on success listener and here I'm going to pass a toast if status is added status is added in case we get any error so I'm going to add on failure listener new on failure listener and I'm going to pass a toast over here fails to add status okay and I'm going to close in the next time I'm going to call this status on the on click method of our this button so I would be saying on click add status so that's it for this video and now I'm going to run this application so that we can check if our status are being saved into our file store or not okay so our application is up and running first I'm going to try to add an empty status and it is saying please enter values that's okay now I'm going to add the user name suppose I'm going to say Sunny and next I'm going to add the status this is status form status form Sunny just adding it and then click add status and it is still saying please enter values so getting back into application and checking where we missed it okay so we have not put the negation sign over here simply and just run it again so changes have been applied to an application just click on add status okay status is added so now I'm going to into our collection to see if it really adds our status into our collection or not okay as you can see the status is added into our collection as well so that's it guys in for this video in this project i have added dependencies into our project which will be needed to in order to run the functionality properly then i have created the ui and have coded the functionality for it into firestore so see you guys in the next video